This question it is given that uh, two identical bodies are made up of material for which heat capacity increases with temperature. One of these at uh, 100 degree Celsius while uh, other one is at 0 degree Celsius. If two bodies are brought in contact then assuming no heat losses final common temperature is. Let's assume that uh, we are having two objects having uh, different uh, heat capacities. And in question it is given that heat capacity is going to uh, like uh, increase with respect to temperature. So for the first object let us say the temperature is 100 degree Celsius and for the second object the temperature is nothing but uh, 0 degree Celsius. And let us say its uh, heat capacity is nothing but uh, C1 and its heat capacity is nothing but C2. So heat capacity we know that it is a product of mass into specific heat capacity and this one we can take it as mass into specific heat capacity of second object. So take it as M2 S2 and here we can take it as M1 S1. So two identical objects their masses are same. So we can say that this uh, specific heat capacity is depends upon the value of temperature. So for this object the temperature is more so its uh, heat capacity or C1 is more and for this object uh, the value of heat capacity is less. So we came to know that the C1 is greater than that of C2. Now if they have a same uh, like uh, temperature same uh, specific heat then the equilibrium temperature is going to be 50. Now assume that the equilibrium temperature is going to be something like T. So how will write the equation for it? So we will write it something like this. The, there will be a transfer of heat energy from high temperature region to a low temperature region. So we will write the heat energy loss by the hot body is equal to heat energy gain by the cold body. So we can write the M as delta T of the heat loss will be equal to nothing but M as delta T for heat gain. Now this M into S is known as heat capacity. So we can write C1 delta T. Now this delta T can be written as nothing but uh, let us say the final temperature is T. So we can write the change in temperature is 100 minus T should be equal to we can take it as C2 into delta T over here we can take it as uh, T minus uh, 0 the difference in temperature for a low temperature object. So we can write the value of uh, as a value of C1 divided by C2 can be written as T divided by 100 minus T. Now we know that the C1 is greater than that of C2. As C1 is greater than C2, so we can write the C1 by C2 is greater than 1 because C1 is greater than C2. So we can write T is greater than 100 minus T or we can take it as this 2T is greater than 100 or we can write this T is greater than 50.